In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use the buttons on your new Sydney theme website to allow users to click around and get to the right part of your website. In other words, we're going to make these buttons work. To make the buttons work, we need to understand the links that are within the buttons because those links go to different anchors on the site. They're anchor links. We have a link in the button and an anchor in a certain section where the button goes. Our first button is a really simple example and it's in our header area. It just takes us down one section, just one drop to the place right below the header area. To edit this button, just click Customize. And now we need to find where that button is, where it lives, and that's in header area. So just click header area and then header slider and scroll all the way down past our fifth slide to call to action button where we have a URL which doesn't look much like a URL which is normally something with a www and a dot com in it. The URL is just hashtag primary and by just putting that in there WordPress understands to put hashtag primary after our uh, domain name. I'm hovering on the button now and if you look in the lower left of my screen you'll see that WordPress reads this button as our domain name which is just a demo.com slash hashtag primary. If your link doesn't say hashtag primary then go ahead and write that in right now because this button is best used to take us to the primary section which WordPress understands again as the section right below the header area. That's just how this theme is built. This part is called primary, primary section. If this text said something like first and we saved it and checked out the site and then we click the button, it just wouldn't work because it needs to say primary. This section is not called first or anything else, it's called primary. So make sure that the URL for your call to action button says hashtag primary. The primary is important to understand because all the other sections on your homepage below the primary operate in uh, numerical order after the primary. In other words, this, what else we provide, is the number one section after the primary. And do you want to is the number two section after the primary. Our team is the number three section after the primary. And if you just rearrange these sections, let's go to the edit page, then those numbers would stay the same for the section, not for the content. So here we have primary, the top section. If I rearrange the rows, then this content would be the first section, and this content would be the second section. It's all about what comes after the primary in descending order. So now, why don't we look at the buttons that are down below, like See More Services. How do we get See More Services to take us to what else we provide? Well, if we look at the See More Services button link, it's also an anchor link, because it has that hashtag in it, and we're looking again in the bottom left of my screen, right in the left corner, we see the hashtag and then PG-175-1. What does that mean? Well, first of all, it probably looks different for you. That 175 is probably a different number, maybe an 8. And we need to change that. So where do we change that? And why do we change it? Well, in Edit Page, we can find that button link right here in Services, the URL for your button. And the way we need to change it is pretty simple. We just need to make this first number after the first dash equal to our page ID, which in my case, in the URL bar, is clearly 175, but may very well be different for your site, like 6 or 8 or 19. Even though it says post, this number is a page ID, and it's so large for my site because I've made a lot of pages and a lot of home pages in the past. It doesn't matter what your page ID is, you just need to find this unique number after the equal sign and post in the URL bar. 
and copy it so that WordPress knows what page you're on. Once you find that, go ahead and put it right here. So if it says something like 9, I need that 175. Hashtag PG-175. And this dash 1 just refers to the first section after the primary, meaning what else we provide. Because we have header area, then primary, and then number 1 section, number 2 section, number 3 section. And again, if we dragged this iPhone stuff down here and put the do you want to up there, then do you want to would become, would become the number one section. Anyways, just get that number right because that's going to determine where the button link takes you and your audience. And then click done. Of course, there's also more buttons like in the do you want to section, which is our layout builder, which we can open up. And then maybe we'll edit the link for our button, which is going to some facts. All right, and we want that one to go down here to the counter, some facts about our site and the counter. We know which number to put in because this red counter section is, let's count together, one, two, three, four sections down from the primary. So that number has to be four. Let's click done, done, and update. And now let's refresh and see that knowing how your buttons work in the Sydney theme can really make it easy for your users to navigate your site. There we go. If you're wondering why it says a certain number by default in these link structures um, and why you have to change it to your page ID, it's probably just because the developer on their WordPress website was using a certain page ID which is not equal to your page ID for your home page. So you have to change it and then the structure works perfectly. And in my opinion, it's one of the most beautiful ways that a free WordPress theme teaches us how to use anchor links. All right, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day or night, guys, and I'll see you next time. Let me know any questions in the comments.